Uh, before we get started, I want to share with you. Uh, you can follow Jimmy Clear Speaker on. Uh, you can follow me at Jimmy Clear Speaker on Facebook and Instagram, and Jimmy Clear Speak at Twitter on Twitter. You can follow Crazy Fitness Guy uh, at Crazy Fitness Guy on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can watch the live stream on Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. And once this episode goes live, you can listen to it on Apple, Google, Spotify, and so much more. And uh, I've been meaning to make an announcement on social media that the Black Friday sale, I mean, sorry, not the end of the year sale uh, for uh, our uh, Crazy Fitness Guy premium podcast for just $10 a year forever. Uh, lifetime is extended. Uh, now until the end of the year, until the January 1st. So check it out. Lock yourself in for $10 a year because the price is only gonna go up. And I can't guarantee you this 80% sale is ever coming back. Or is it? I'm not saying anything. Uh, read between the lines. And if you want to uh, highlight the sh Say highlights from highlights from the show, and comment on the show, and tell me what your favorite episode is. Check out Cleaver.fm, and uh, and describe the crazy fitness guy on Cleaver.fm to uh, just to add um, more joy uh, to the show, etc. It's a really cool platform. Go check it out. Um, and to shout out to the crazy tribe out there, thanks for watching and thanks for watching and tuning in. Jeez, if I can speak on today's Friday, man, end of the week. Gosh. And uh, without further ado, let's welcome uh, our guest Roman today, and it should be a very interesting conversation. Hey, Roman. Hey, Jimmy. Thank you for having me so much. Uh, I feel a little bit weird because I get a little bit of echo. So if I start to repeat myself or start sound clumsily, that's that's not my fault. <laughs> it's technology. You bet. And since it is December, I had to go with the nice December background. You know. Oh, I love it. Just gives me the right vibe. Yeah. Unfortunately, I didn't make it. So. To be honest, uh, I'm not. I was never a really good painter or drawer. I was more of a uh, 3D model person, and uh, painting was not my strong suit. But I could paint between the lines. But okay. ask me to like, hey, uh, you got to paint something off by memory. Not happening. Just a fun fact. Yeah. So uh, before we get started, uh, can you tell me about who you are, what you do, and how you got started? Okay, I am, am a co, and I help people conquer porn addiction and addiction to excessive masturbation. This is a huge problem right now especially because so many people stay at home, work from home, spend time at home, never get out. Especially now it's winter, not to mention COVID. And this problem has been exacerbated. So I've been having more work to do in the last couple of years. Uh, I guess it's better to be busy than not busy. Well, absolutely true, especially when and I run my own business, was for, for like basically a freelance business from my home. Yes, definitely. So, um, so how did you get started in that business? <laughs> you know, I guess it all started for me with the addiction itself when I, I got addicted as a young teenager. And that was the first, let's call it step. The second step was actually when it got very bad in 
let's say around the age of 15, 16, 17. And I think I lost a lot of confidence and I missed on the opportunities to date girls. The, the next step was when I was actually married and this addiction was stealing time away from my family, from my ex-wife and son. And eventually was one of the reasons that led to the divorce. And the final step was to actually get over it, beat it, and realize that I feel great without that ad addiction and I can actually help others. So this is basically how I started, just helping people a little bit here, there, and then it slowly turned out into a business. <laughs> well, I can uh, relate a little bit because I was addicted to video games. Uh, I let's just say video games was my comfort uh, because it let me escape from real life problems when I was having in school back in the days where I was getting bullied, I was getting, uh, I had some teachers who, who didn't listen, I had some, uh, and I had a lot of other teachers who did listen, but there was just a select few who were just like, it doesn't exist in the schools. Wow. Is that out in here or is it out in here? Because in here, anything can happen in here. Uh, and my and I so basically video games for me was just an escape from everything that was all noise around me and where I got to control a character's uh, fate from just my own fate. I know that kind of sounds kind of weird, but I thought that's a good point. It's it, it just kind of like, well, you know, I might as well. Uh, it is my escape from everything, homework. Uh, I, I, I didn't, yeah, let's just say I just hated school back then. I like it now. Because it's something I get to uh, go into a field that I want to go into, not just, oh, let's go listen to history, science, and math. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And uh, that's a very, very valid reason why people develop addictions. So, I don't have control in my life over something, but this piece of my reality, which is my addiction, gives me a lot of control and that mm, sweet feel of, of, of certainty. So, uh, so uh, how did you get um, addicted in the first place just out of curiosity? I guess just like most other guys do. Basically, at, at a certain point, I realized that touching myself down there brings a lot of pleasure and very quick pleasure at that. And the second thing was my friend actually finding a, a, a videotape, like just an old, just, just like this one. Yeah, so that was a videotape from his parents, and it had porn on it. We watched it. I, uh, I liked it so much. That was basically the first time for me realizing what sex was about. And since then, it, it like became a replacement for me. So instead of developing this healthy addiction to, well, not addiction, but craving for real life sex, what I did was develop this addiction to imagery and other people having sex and having fun and getting paid for it. Yeah, well, uh, I think for me, like I said, it started, uh, I played a lot of video games. Uh, at the, every time I came home from school, I wanted to play more and more of video games. We had me and my brother had different consoles growing up, and uh, it just, I just, honestly, I didn't even know what I was doing when I was playing the video games back then. I was just pressing buttons, and one button led up to another. The first time when I started playing, 
my my uh let's just say I erased all my brother's data on all of his favorite games and he was very pissed off at me. Of course. Uh but then over the years I saw you get better and better at them and um, I just I got so into it because it's like wow, oh, you know, I could definitely keep doing this and like well, what video game can I buy next? What can I do the next? What can, and uh, and then finally I found this game online. At, of course, you needed to be like 13 years old of age. I was like 11 or uh, 13 uh, uh, before 13. And so I lied of my age just to play. And I told my parents eventually at that age, but my parents were like, I don't care. I was like, it asked me, I was like, I was like, it's a fine line? And I was like, not really. It's just a health bar at the top of, of each monster and character. So it's like, I've seen a lot worse. <laughs> and, it's, and so it is like, okay. Hmm. But I mean, like, my parents were not, like, uh, they, they uh, it's not like they, it's not like they were, um, I just, they weren't just laid back and they didn't let me do whatever I wanted. I just was like, well, it's not the worst video game. I played Grand Theft Auto, so I was like, compare that, compare this game to Grand Theft Auto. Not even compare, can't even compare. Okay, true. So that's just a little bit of my background. So, uh, so how did you overcome your addiction? You know, the biggest part of recovery was actually awareness. I realized that watching porn and masturbating doesn't make me any better. It makes me actually worse because all the time I feel I felt shame and guilt. And shame and guilt are the two slowest and lowest energy emotions they bring you down so i would watch porn and masturbate and then spend a day or two in a daze feeling bad about myself so that awareness created motivation and eventually momentum that helped me just break through it that, that was the most important part, my reason. And the second part was the technique. And for me, it was basically punishing myself for watching porn and rewarding myself for not watching. So what I would do is I knew that I, I watched porn and masturbated usually at bedtime. So I decided that I would replace that habit with another habit that is associated with a lot of pleasure for me. And that habit was listening to a, a record, an, an album, a music album that I liked. So what I would do is I would abstain from listening to music during the day and I would magnify the pleasure that I was getting at listening to that album at bedtime. And eventually I was able to replace the porn habit with that music habit. And I also made sure to punish myself. So whenever I relapsed, I would do something that I didn't like. And at that point, that would be something like cleaning my room like cleaning it so much it, it, it is normally organized because i know that this is very helpful in having a clear mindset but i would clean it up even more but to be honest i didn't have that much uh of a room at my shore house so there's not really much to clean okay and it, you actually by what i see looks pretty organized good job <laughs> it's all shoved in the uh, nightstand and next to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've been, I'm going to clean it. 
I'm going to clean it eventually because my uh, I've been busy with school work, so uh, I blame it on school. <laughs> I have two more papers to write. Come on, <laughs> that's not my priority to do this. Okay, uh, but uh, I noticed from myself when I was addicted to, to video games. Uh, I was spending hours upon hours upon hours and all the things I wanted to do. Mom, well, when I get home from school today, I'm going to play video games. And uh, I'm a, I was already setting up for my afternoon and say, hmm, what can I do in this video game today? <laughs> it's like an, an online game, so you get to, you can do a, many different things in the game. So it's not just like a first player uh, game. It's uh, just an online community game and whatnot. And I was like thinking, okay, hmm, let's just spend up a day while I'm in school. So I'm kind of like half listening with an ear. I'm like, mm hmm, mm hmm. I'm like, okay. time to go home yet? Hmm. <laughs> okay. And so uh, then I I knew I had a, I started to have a problem because all I just kept on thinking video game, video game, video game. And I event I did something really, really stupid in the video game, and I quit for two years. Mm. It was very hard because when I was trying to find something that I could replace it with, and there's, there's really nothing I can replace it with. And I think a few years ago, I don't remember when, but I think a few years ago, I... Uh, joined again and I said if I'm going to join again I got to only play on the weekends and and I give myself a, a total of 10 hours but it's broken up on Saturday and Sunday so it's like mm -hmm. 5 hours Saturday 5 hours Sunday and I know somebody might say well 5 hours can't be that good for you sitting all day it's not so at the end at every single hour, I stand up, walk around, I come back, and then, uh, and it's like a good maybe five, ten minutes, and then I come back, or maybe thirty minutes, and I come back. And sometimes I'm not even on during the weekend, but it's blocked during the week. I have multiple blockers on this computer, uh, multiple blockers on the computer next, next to me, just to tell me that like, you can only get it from this time to this time, and then. Done. Can't do it anymore. I was like, oh, "Come on, please." There's no way around it. And I was like, "Once it's set, it's locked." And he's like, "Nope, you get it back tomorrow." I was like, "Gosh darn computer!" <laughs> <laughs> I know I set it up, but I like to argue with technology. Yeah, and I actually like the blocker thing because it does work for many people. For me, it doesn't surprisingly because i like sort of like to have control and feel that i'm in control that's how i build the feeling of being in charge of my addiction rather than trying to like block it and escape it but i i did notice that for many people blocking it helps just because it's mm, makes them not to think about it they just forget about it completely and there are no reminders so this is helpful and uh, when it comes to porn it's pretty helpful to have a porn blocker on your browser because because of the history that you have on your browser you might just be shown porn randomly and this blocker definitely helps uh, my blockers are just like uh, timer blockers uh, and uh, Let's me uh, block certain apps and functions uh, on my computer. So they can't open this app today. Oh, come on. Can I get a little bit? No. Not budging. And, and, like, and I just find it's helpful because it just tells me, you're done your five hours. It's like there's sometimes when I, when I was playing video games, I maybe saw it like 11 a.m. in the morning. I went until like seven, eight o'clock, nine o'clock. And this oh, okay. 
and it was like it was on the weekend, and it's like you're not gonna be down there for until like eight, nine, ten o'clock at night. And I know it was very unhealthy, and uh, but I was in a very, very bad state of mind, very back then, and it was just my escape from reality. Reality, and I was like, hey, let's go. Uh, to this character reality where it seems more fun and straightforward and I know whose rules I'm playing by and I well am I playing I feel like some I'm in a pond in someone else's game sometimes because it's like oh Jimmy can't do this half of this stuff because he's autistic blah 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 and in the game it's like well I can do this 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 and this and this and this and there's and of course every online game has rules but as long as you don't break the rules, they don't give a crap. <laughs> and so it's like over here, it's like, well, we just put so many limits on Jimmy Claire, we can, it's not fun. <laughs> it's like, my reality is kind of annoying at times because it's like, can he do this? I'm not sure if he can do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, what was your single most important factor? in terms of motivation to break from your addiction? Uh, I think that's because I wanted to get... Funny thing you said about that was because my when I started college, uh, I was finding myself... And, and this was around the time when I had a crazy fitness guy running. And I knew, like, if I wanted to continue playing video games, I knew I had to, uh, I can't play during the week. And I wasn't, I was saying, okay, I can't do any. It's not like saying I, I can't do anything fun during the week, but I have to do something else. I have to read books or listen to a podcast or draw or something. Make a 3D model. Yeah. And I didn't really want to... So I knew I needed to focus on my studies and whatnot, and and so and what and basically my when I was getting a, a tutor, I was telling my tutor I was like, I feel like the day is going super fast, mm. and I'm and I don't know where my time is going. So she told me about time blocking, and it's funny. I took it one step f further, and I found this app to uh, that get, uh, shows me extra time where I'm fitting breaks in. And it's like, okay, break. You can check your social media or email, or yeah. read your book or etc. But no work. And it's like for 15 minutes or 10 minutes or 30 minutes, depending how long the break is. And I was like. I, I was like, I think I found mastered time, time management skills, and so it was kind of so that's got what got me into fixing it because I felt because I like to read, except for what what school sometimes makes me read because it's like I'm being forced to read when of something that I don't like to read, and now when I want to read, I'm like I want to know where my time is going why can't i read and when i set this up it's like hey i found two hours in my day to actually read yeah this tool is magic oh yeah absolutely i use it in my life through a pomodoro technique which makes you work for 25 minutes and have a take a five minute break and one another good reason to do it is it helps retention when you take a break, the information that you've learned in the previous 25 minutes, it gets saved better in your memory. I definitely like using the Pomodoro timer too. I've, I've, it helps me to know that it's like, okay, I have to focus 20 minutes and then I get, and I set it for a, uh, I usually set it for a 15 minute break just because uh, I need that transition period and 10 minutes is just not enough. I was like, 15 minutes is like, 
okay, I got 15 minutes. That's not like, oh, I have to say, like, I'm thinking to myself, like, well, what if one of my applications on the computer, like the Kindle app, like, needed to update, and it loaded slowly, and it's like, okay, it took, like, half of my brain, and I can't read my book. Uh, so it's, it's kind of helpful to have 15 minutes, so then, okay, I'm not going to run out too fast, maybe two minutes, but it's not going to, this thing is slow. <laughs> right. So, uh, so uh, how, did, how did you know, how did you notice when your addiction started to become a super big problem for you? Like, was it sucking the time out of your life? Was it sucking your energy? Was it sucking your motivation? Yeah, all of those things. For me, I guess the biggest one was feeling shame and guilt, which made me unproductive for for a very long time after I relapsed. Then I also felt that it was stealing time away from my family because I wasn't able to be as engaged as I could be. And another reason was that, you know, I feel that everyone has so much potential, including myself. And our task while we're here on this earth is to actually leave that potential and to let God use us to the fullest degree. So I, I felt that I was actually betraying my p potential instead of actualizing it. Wasting. And uh, wh what, uh, how did you, and, and you said you used uh, the Tony Robbins program. Um, what does that program entail? Well, the program that I took as a coach gave me a number of techniques that I now use in my one-on-one -on -one coaching, including people who want to beat porn and master bashing. And uh, this is what I learned from Tony. And uh, how, um, how, and uh, what's your, what is your, how long have you been uh, fighting your addiction? I think it was about 20 years from 12 to 32. And have you relapsed since or? Basically, uh, I've been clean for seven years and I relapsed just two times. And I, I didn't relapse in, in, in the last three years, just to be exact. And, you know, uh, like going back to my addiction real quick, my, like the, the only time where I let myself play video games during the week is uh, when I'm on a vacation week and it's like I'm waiting to go do something with family, but um, we're just uh, we're waiting to get stuff ready to go somewhere or whatnot. And I maybe have like a two or three hours to do something. And it's like, well, I don't feel like doing this or doing that because it's not a work week for me. I might just play some, uh, some video games, but that's only because it's a special occasion. Like during the holidays, I'll play some video games because I, I'm, I can't always, because I have spinal stenosis in my neck, I can't always look down and read my book at, for a long period of time while my neck starts getting really, really sore. And I'm like, yeah. this is very uncomfortable. So, so the video games, at least it's on the computer, my neck is straight and it's not like, oh, that's scary. <laughs> Hey, it, it does make a difference when you have a neck issue. Uh, it's annoying. Uh, I want one that's like 360 degree neck, but that'd be nice. Uh, 
I can see anybody playing in them. Uh, so, uh, before we wrap up, uh, what would you like for people to know, and where can people find you, etc.? The best place to get started is to go to my website, which is romanmiranov.com. Spelled as R O M A N M I R O N O V dot com. There is a blog, quite a lot of videos, and uh, a button to contact me for a free consult where I can explain how I can help, I can understand your situation, and see whether my help can contribute to your breaking from porn addiction. And if you mention that you're coming off Jimmy's podcast, I'll be happy to give you a 30% discount. Woohoo! And uh, if, um, thanks for being a guest on the show, and let's stay in touch. My pleasure, Jimmy. Thank you for having me. It's been a privilege. Definitely. Thank you. So that's all for today. Uh, Thanks for watching and tuning in. Uh, if you want to follow me, you can follow me at Jimmy Clear Speaker on Facebook and Instagram and Jimmy Clear Speaker on Twitter. You can follow uh, Crazy Fitness Guy on Facebook, at Crazy Fitness Guy on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And tune in to the next live stream next week on Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. And you can listen to this episode once it goes live on Apple, Google, Google, and Spotify. And uh, check out the uh, the the, uh, the live stream. Not the word. Uh, you can check out the uh, eighty percent discount uh, for Crazy Business Guy Premium Podcast, and subscribe for only ten dollars a year forever, as long as we live, as long as we stay around. And check that out. And shout out to my crazy tribe out there. Let me know if you like this episode. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, Twitch, wherever you're tuning in. And subscribe to the podcast. Share it with your friends, family, relatives, etc. And follow Roman. Go to his website and check out what he's doing. And that's all for today and so i'm gonna leave you with this stay healthy stay safe stay motivated i'll see you next week on crazy fitness guy healthy living podcast slash weekly motivation until then you know what to do see ya oh wait i forgot to put the next video Duh. um now see you next week